Hey everyone, it's Bowie here from Beach Beach Surf Shop, Caloundra on the Sunshine Coast, Queensland. Today we're going to be doing a review on the NSP Sleepwalker, which is an incredible bang for buck longboard. Really good all round log. There's definitely a lot of logs on the market at the moment, but these are probably the cheapest ones that we do in store. They come in two constructions. The one I'm holding here is your normal fiberglass technology but they also come in the element technology, which is an epoxy board, which basically is a little bit more durable and a little bit more get up and go on those smaller conditions. But if you're not wanting to spend a great deal of money, these are extremely good value and they surf amazing. What we're gonna see here with the NSP Sleepwalker, you can probably see it, it's got a relatively big nose concave that pretty much goes right to the back of the board, which really helps on the nose lift. So when you're walking forward on the nose, it's giving you plenty of lift and plenty of stability, which makes it super easy for nose riding. So for those people learning to nose ride, I feel like this board is a great starting point. You've got pretty well a basic sort of roll bottom through the back half. It's relatively thinned out through the tail which the thinner the tail means you're still getting an edge, which is gonna give you a bit of drive and speed when it does get a bit bigger. I've been riding the 10 footer at the moment and absolutely love the board for the Sunshine Coast conditions. It's a relatively versatile board, great board for people getting into longboarding. Now, fin options. There's a fair few on the market. What I've found that I'm liking at the moment, this is in the 10 footer, of course. I'm running the 11.5 Thomas FCS 2 Thin. It's got a fair bit of hold, so really good for nose riding. Basically, when you get up there, it locks in. It's very pivoty on the turning side though. So if you want something a little bit more release with your turns, I'd be running a 10 inch connect. Also a nine inch connect, depending on the size of the NSP that you're riding. This one that we've got here is the 9.4, which is definitely gonna be sort of that all round shape. It's a relatively easy board to ride. You've got a 50-50 pinch rail right through the board and um, highly recommend it for all levels of surfing. It's definitely gonna suit those advanced guys, but it's also gonna suit the beginner guys learning to surf with a fair bit of volume and thickness. Well, I hope you all have an amazing week. I'm Bowie from Beach Beat.